Hey guys, how's it going? It is Zach here, Distributor Designer. I'm here to do a tutorial teaching you guys how to make a custom timer skin for your competition timer or your glow-in-the-dark timer. And I'm going to try to get a third generation timer skin for you guys. But if I don't, um, I'm really sorry. But I actually don't, e don't even have a third generation timer, so it's going to be really hard to find someone who can help me. So um, if I do have it, I'll post it in the description below and I'll give somebody a shout out to um, for helping me. So, um, I made a video exactly like this a few years ago, but I accidentally, or I, I either deleted it accidentally or I, um, I deleted it because of copyright. So, um, I did, since it was four years ago, I really was not um, that good with making tutorials. I might have been a little okay, but like, um, I was probably 11 or 12 years old and my voice wasn't really that developed. So, yeah, I'm gonna make a totally new one, an updated one for you guys. It's gonna hopefully be a lot simpler for you, all of you guys and, and easier for me as well to ma actually make the video. So, let's just get started. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is you're going to need your actual timer skin. So, this, it's the first couple links in the description. Um, there's gonna be a glow-in-the-dark timer skin and um, a competition timer skin with the save buttons on it and I'll also have a regular competition timer without the save buttons so just choose whatever one you want and download it from there now you're also going to need GIMP this is the five this is the program that you're going to be using to actually um, customize your timer skin and customize it the way you like it so for Windows it's going to be the first GIMP link down below and click on that, and you'll you'll um, you'll be able to download it straight away. And if you're on a Mac and you want to get GIMP, there's a, the second link down below in the description, and you'll have to click on which operating system you have. I think it's from Tiger all the way to Mountain Lion, so you don't have to worry. There's a bunch of uh, varieties um, for your iOS or for your OS X. So once you finish downloading and installing it, you're gonna open it up. The first open, uh, the first time you actually open it up, it's gonna take you a while just because it's loading a bunch of fonts and stuff. So it's not that your program is messed up; it's just that it takes, it always takes a while. It took a while for me, so uh, I'm just gonna let it start up, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is what you're gonna see when you start up your start up your GIMP program, and from there, what you're gonna have to do is click on File. Sorry about that. Make sure you click on File, PvP Sun. <laughs> click on File and then click on Open. Now you're gonna have to find your file, your uh, competition timer skin, or your Golden Dark timer skin, or your regular timer skin, and um, open it up on GIMP. So there it is. This file isn't gonna be there, so I might as well just delete that. So you're gonna be greeted with this. All right. So. The best part about this uh, tutorial is that you do not have to do that uh, as many numbers as you normally would do for a timer skin. You don't have to like memorize like decimal numbers and all that stuff. So don't you don't have to worry about anything. So what you have to do now is um, you're gonna have to uh, make a new layer. Now the layer is there to put as the background because as you can see it is transparent there is a transparent uh, background behind it so I'm gonna have to put a wallpaper behind it to make it look um, the way you like it so basically what you have to do is click on the right hand side the right hand window is all your layers now what you have to do is cl uh, click anywhere below the blue selection of your of your layer this is the first layer that you have now cl right click and click on new layer and then click OK now what you have to do now is make sure that that layer is on the bottom, is below your competition, your timer skin layer. Now you need to do this, or else basically what happens is uh, if you paste, if you paste uh, wallpaper on your screen, it's going to cover your timer skin completely, and it's pretty much your timer skin is pretty much useless, and you can't actually cut it out and form the shape of it. So what you have to do is click, make sure that the the layer that you just made is selected. And then click on the uh, bottom, the lower, or like the down arrow key. It should be green. Now, once you click on that, it should have switched. And now you can paste in any wallpaper you have. So I have this wallpaper that I like. I'm gonna copy it. Click 
go back to the GIMP, hit Control V, and it should paste into it. Now from there you can either you can scale you can pretty much do whatever you want to it. You can scale it using the scale tool, which is the fourth um, icon down. Wait, fourth column down or fourth column down, and it's the first icon. And click on it, and now you can move it to the size of the timer and to scale, it'll scale it, and to move it, click on the move tool, which, on, which is on the third column of the, and the second icon, so the second icon on the third column, um, and that seems pretty good to me, I really like this one. You can also add text to the file as well, so if you click on the first uh, icon on the fifth column, there's the text tool, and click wherever you want, and to start your text, and I'm probably going to make mine for, uh, maybe like 60 size size 60 so um and then i'm just gonna start typing why isn't this working oh okay i need to scale this first so i'm gonna scale it to the size i want and then i'm just gonna type my, my youtube name and then scale it to the size that seems pretty good and to change the font all you can do all you um really need to do is select it all go to the left hand side and on the text op and the text um options you can click on the uh, uppercase A and the lowercase A, and then from there you'll see all your fonts. I'm gonna choose my bank gothic one. All right, there it is. So there you go, bank gothic. It looks sick. And then I'm just gonna resize the fonts again. How do I get my so all? Oops. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna turn down the text. All right. So if you want, you can customize it as much as you want. You don't really have to do it the same way I did. Uh, it's your timer. You can do whatever you want with it. Just play around with it and see. And uh, once you're finished um, with and with your design and you're, and you're happy with it, what you really need to do is go into File and then click on Page Setup. This is crucial to actually getting it to look or to print out perfectly. Now, what you have to do is make sure all the margins are at zero. Without that, without that, um, the timer is actually going to be cropped because I, uh, before I made this, I'm making this video. I actually tested it myself, and numerous times I would always get a, a smaller um, file, or a smaller timer size, or timer skin, and I didn't know, I didn't wonder, I didn't know why. So. Um, I just decided that I wasn't going to make this video until I uh, went into page setup and found out that my margins were at 6.5 or 7 and um, that basically means uh, there's a safe area for that and everything else is cropped. So make sure those are all zero by just selecting each of them, making it 0, 0, 0, 0. Uh, make sure your paper size is 8.5 by 11, so most of you guys already know about that, but if you don't, make sure your paper size in your printer is 8.5 by 11. Uh, I think it's 8.5 by 7. 8.5 by 11. Uh, make the orientation portrait and then click OK. So now you're pretty much done. Uh, you're pretty much done with your computer side of it. Now all you need to do is print it out and that's pretty much it. So you just click on File, Print, find your printer. You don't have to change any image settings and just click on Print and you should go to your printer and get the piece of paper. Alright, so once you have your printed ti uh, timer skin, uh, it looks pretty good to me, uh, you're going to have to cut this entire thing out, so um, I'll be right back. Alright, so once you have your uh, timer skin cut out, you're going to have to cut out the display so you're able to actually see through it. So. I am probably going, I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife, you can do the same thing if you want to, but if you don't feel safe using it, then I'll, um, you can just use scissors and just make a little hole and then cut around it, but I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife because I think it's a lot easier. Alright, so once you have your display cut out, um, this is optional, but if you want, you can either use an X-Acto knife to cut out the holes for the lights. Or if you really don't think that you'll be able to do it, you can just um, take some scissors and just cut a little square around, or a little rectangle around the circles and you won't have a, any trouble cutting out the circles. 
So do whatever you want. I'm probably gonna cut it and um, yeah. All right, this is an optional step. Once you finished cutting out the actual timer, uh, I ac actually um, made a slit. So um, you can use this really wide um, clear tape and basically um, it's used to protect the paper because paper can get um, easily damaged from water. So this pretty much protects it. It's like a, lamin uh, a laminate of your uh, timer skin. So if you want, all you can do is just make two strips and then uh, as you can see, it actually fits the entire um, like the entire width of the tape so you don't have to, you can only just you can just make one straight um, strip but if you have a smaller uh, clear tape you can just make little strips and it'll look fine as well all right so once you have your actual timer skin laminated with the tape um, now it's just all you have to do is just stick it on so I'm gonna be using just regular uh, scotch tape so uh, what you want to do is just make a bunch of loops all over the t uh, all over the timer where there isn't any buttons so there should be one right here you can do like a small one at this corner I don't know it doesn't have to look perfect because you are just gonna smush it anyway so um, yeah so I'm just gonna do two more like you, you can do, you can tape it however, more, however way you want. It's just that this, you know, it's, yeah, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be crazy. And I'll do one last one on the left hand side. Okay, there we go. Just make sure you don't cover the display. And then all you need to do is just stick it on. Wait, that didn't stick on though. Alright, there we go. So, yeah. There's your timer. That sounds pretty cool. Alright guys, that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned how to make this awesome stacking timer. Um, people can make some crazy stuff with this. Uh, so, if you guys want, make sure you to um, uh, post your stacking timers on Facebook or on Twitter. I'll have a link in the description for that. Or you can just do it on the stacking group um, on Facebook and uh, put my name on it. Uh, so I just want to, I really want to see how uh, kind of designs you guys have and maybe even post videos of it too if you want of you stacking with it. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you uh, learned something, and if you enjoyed the video and also share it on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or something like that. Um, that's pretty much it guys. It's getting pretty late, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.